In this video, we would see how to execute a Python script or a block of Python code in a shell script. Let us start. There are two ways of executing a Python program in a shell script. In the first method, we can save the Python program as a file in disk and we can call that file as part of the shell script execution. The second method, we can execute the Python program as a block of code using here document. At the first method, let me create an example Python script. So this example script takes three arguments and it will calculate the sum of the first two arguments and using the third argument, it will verify whether the third argument is matching with the, the sum of the first two arguments. If both are matching, then it will print success, otherwise it will print failure. So for collecting the arguments, we have to use a library. Here I am using sys library. Now we have to collect the arguments. Here I will use input 1 is equal to this dot I am using argv method. So if I give 1, it will take the first argument. So by default, when we use sys.argv, then it will collect the input as string. So for doing any integer operations, we have to convert that to an integer. So I am using the int method here. Similarly, I will use input 2. Similarly, input 3. Now we have collected all the three arguments. Let us calculate the sum of the first two arguments. Now verify whether the total matches with the input 3. If sum is equal to input 3, then we have to print success. Else we have to print fail. Yeah, this is a basic example script which collects three arguments and it, it is calculating the sum of the first two arguments and it is verifying whether the sum is matching with the third argument. If both are matching, it will print success, otherwise it is a failure. So let me save this script. So now we will execute with python3. python3 dot slash example. Okay, here we have to provide arguments. So I will provide the first argument as 1. Second argument as 2 and third argument as 3. So now it is showing success. Now if you give 1, 2, 4, that means 1 plus 2, which is not equal to 4, that means it should give failure message. Our basic script is working. So let us try to execute this script with a shell script. For that, I will write test.sh. So here I am using bash shell. To execute a python script, we have to provide either a full path or relative path. So here I am providing the relative path. For that, we have to give python3 dot slash example dot py. So now this will produce a success message or a failure message. So, so here I am placing the output example py in a output of txt file. Yeah, we also need to send the arguments. So now we are executing the example pi step with three arguments and we are storing the result in the output.txt file. Now we can end this script as well. End of script. So let us save this file. So I will give permissions and we can execute the test.sh. So we can also see the output.txt is a success. Now we have seen how to execute a python program from a shell script by calling the python program from the file. So in the second method, we will execute the python program as a block of code using clear document. So for this, let us try to update this test.sh. So let me comment this. 
So I have commented the line what we have executed previously. Now we have to specify the here document. So before that, we will collect the arguments as environment variables in cell state. So that means input one. Now we have collected the arguments in the cell script itself. So let us try to execute the here document. So for that, we have to use Python 3 and we have to specify the redirection operator after that delimiter. So here I will use Python script as the delimiter and let us send the output to output 2.txt. Now we have to write our python code here. So I will write input 1 is equal to input 1 from shell input 2 is equal to dollar input 2 from shell and input 3 is equal to dollar input 3. So let us calculate the sum again. Sum is equal to input 1 plus input 2. Now let us validate if the sum is matching with input. So now the Python code is done. So we have to end this with our delimiter here. Our delimiter is Python script. So now we have ended the delimiter. That means this code is completed. So after this, I am writing another request statement. So in this script, what we have done, we are assigning all the inputs in the as shell variables. So that means we will collect in the cell itself all the input parameters. So now as part of the here document, we have collected three inputs here and these are python variables and these are not in uh, shell variables and these are the values of the shell variables and we have calculated the sum and we have printed the sum and after that we have validated the sum is matching with input 3. So this is the block of python 4. So this needs to be executed as part of this script execution. So let us save this file. So now let us execute this file by sending the arguments. So now we can see that the script is completed. Let us verify the output 2.txt. Now we can see the sum is 3 and it has printed success. So let me execute the script again. We can verify that output 2.txt. Yeah, now it has printed the sum, but we have, we have sent the argument as 4, so it is a failure. So this is the second method how we can execute a Python program as a block of code in a shell script using here document. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.